Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. Happy Monday. I am Kat the Nurse Flipper. I'm a full time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. Today, I am going to show you what sold, which is what I like to do every Monday because it's really good to show you a bunch of things that have sold over the weekend. We sold over $1,400 on eBay this weekend, and we also have four Poshmark sales going out, and I'm going to show you them all right now. All right, so first up is a bobblehead that actually started off as a lowball offer. This a buyer sent me an offer of $85. I had it listed right at 200 and they said that in pristine condition, this bobblehead goes for 200 but that mine needed a lot of work, which I do agree, but there are no others listed. So in this case, it wasn't a case of I wanted 200 because of condition. I wanted 200 because of demand. So I did end up accepting an offer from them of 140, which was almost double their original price. I did go back and research to make sure I did have the only one on eBay. So I knew I kind of had the upper hand. So if somebody sends you a message like that, do some research. Sometimes you might be wrong and you might need to go down and accept that offer but other times like this if you have the only one condition is not the only thing that plays a part supply and demand does as well so for $140 I sold this New York Jets NFL this is from the 1960s it is a bobblehead it is pro novelty chicago illinois and this one i paid about 35 for so it is going to be about an 85 dollar profit if you hear my voice my throat is still hurting dalton went back to school today he was raring ready to go he hasn't had a fever in three days i haven't had a fever but my throat is killing me and i took a five hour nap this morning so i'm really trying to rest i think we're all kind of still on the tail end minus dalton he got it first he got better first so he was happy to get back to school but the rest of the house unfortunately i think we still have a tinge of covid and if you hear my voice that is why so up next is a couple of scarves so these two scarves in combination sold for 13 i paid less than a dollar each really really pretty here is this one neither one of these are branded and then there's this gold foil one the two together sold for 13 so they're actually about a ten dollar profit i have a bunch of scarves right now i am kind of debating whether i want to list them all or offer them up to you as a wholesale lot like maybe in lots of 20 or something like that so i'm on the fence about that if you would be interested in buying some scarves to list for resale definitely let me know down in the comments or in the premiere and then so two wood wick candles you've seen me sell these before i picked them up at a garage sale there are two these are sand and driftwood they are a little cracked from the heat so i probably will go ahead and message this buyer first before sending them out it's not going to affect how they burn it just affects how they look but i am going to make sure that that buyer is okay with that so i paid four dollars a piece and those are about a 18 to 20 dollar profit and they sold in about four months up next is a bell and i hardly ever pick up bells i thought this one was really pretty with the cardinals and you can see the ringer is actually a cardinal too this one does have the original sticker it is art mark i picked this up for a dollar at the antique mall so really really cheap it sold for 17.48 it did take about six to eight months and it's going to be about a 14 dollar profit next is a towel sold for 17 dollars so i love vintage towels you can see this has got the little tea set definitely a mid-century modern look there i paid a dollar it sold for 17.49 and under a month and it will be about a 14 dollar profit buyer did pay shipping on all of my items keep an eye out for those vintage and retro linens i do very very well with them from 15 to 20 dollars and i only pay a dollar for them typically and then a license plate this is a indiana church bus license plate this one sold for eight dollars and fifty cents so it's about a six dollar profit up next is a little bylaws book 
this is whoa the West End Fire Company it's just the bylaws of the fire station really really cool this one is from the 1960s I paid less than a quarter it sold for eight so it's about a six dollar profit this one did take about two years to sell up next is a watch so this watch was actually bought for a hundred dollars and returned because it doesn't have the hour hand and I didn't notice that the buyer didn't notice it so I relisted it once I got it back it's still sold for $65 it is a Harley Davidson Belova watch I paid about $10 so it's still about a $40 profit so just because things are broke or something's wrong with them does not necessarily mean they won't sell that still sold for 65 originally it sold for 100 so about a 35 percent discount for that hour hand missing but if there's a collector that's a rare item they are willing to pay to take it to a watch repair shop and get it fixed next is another license plate this is iowa this one sold for $13.99 it is a truck plate so it's going to be about a ten dollar profit up next I think this plate is pretty cool and this is something that's bread and butter it sold for $13.98 it is a little heron plate it was made in England it is marked on the back I paid 50 cents so it's actually about $11 profit and these little tiny saucers are pretty easy to ship the buyer did pay six in shipping up next is a lacquer jewelry box I absolutely love these because my grandmother had some like them so it definitely brings back memories for me this one sold in about a year so it did take a little bit longer to sell it does have the really pretty inlaid flowers and then it's got the satin it does play music as you hear it is marked that it was made in Japan I paid about five dollars this one sold for 35 again took a year to sell and the buyer did pay 1070 in shipping all right the first of a few longa burger baskets you are going to see as you might know i just bought over 100 longa burger baskets over 400 accessories so i hope you are going to see a lot of it there are only a few on today's video we are working through getting them listed which has been a little hard with everybody being sick including my 20 year old who lists for me we also have not been able to cross post in over a week it will probably be two weeks because my mom being older I do not want her to come around us and chance her getting sick and my mom is my cross poster so our business has kind of been a little kind of all over the place the last two weeks with getting COVID so we are trying to get back into the swing of things and hopefully luckily sales didn't get hit that is the one positive so this is a really cute seashell basket you can see the shells really really cute longa burger basket it does have the wood lid and a liner this one sold for 60 dollars so i paid about 15 so this one is about a 37 to 40 dollar profit and it sold in under a week up next is the highest sale of the weekend and is a plate and it is cloisonne i absolutely love cloisonne if you don't know cloisonne is enamel with little gold twisted wire in between so this nine inch plate sold for 167 dollars and 44 cents has really really pretty butterflies some stone i paid 15 so this one's about 140 dollar profit up and next is another longa burger basket this one's a pretty plain one so these that have the leather hooks like this here are called key baskets i do know because this one has the brochure with it but i know that because i've had them before this one sold in under a day for 18.89 so keep your eye out for these i do want to say too pay attention if they have a liner in the protector look underneath because a lot of people put their paperwork under there and that might help you figure out which basket it is that one i did pay about eight dollars for so it's about an eight dollar profit after fees all right are you ready hundred dollar sale hundred dollar sale how crazy is that right hundred dollar sale these two sold for hundred and eleven dollars keep your eye out this one is slife so it is marked this is a cleaver 
and this was a great sale at $111. I'm less than $5 in, so it's actually about a $90 profit, and they sold in about two months. So this little bulb is like a Christmas palm tree. It's got the little present down there. It's got sand. It's got a shell. I paid a dollar. This one sold for $10.48. So it's about an $8 profit and it sold in about two and a half months. Up next is a pen from my friend Charlene. It is this Harley Bar and Shield. It is little bling rhinestone this one sold under a month for $15.74 Charlene and I'll split the profit so it'll probably be about five dollars each and then this little glass heart ornament this one sold for six dollars but I had it I didn't have anything really similar to lot it up with so I'm still making about a four dollar profit on that next is a paperweight that took forever to sell this little paperweight sold for $20. I only paid five. Um, I do like that little bit of blue there in it, but this one's gonna be about a $12 profit and it took almost two years to sell. Up next is a cross stitch pattern that sold for a whole $2. This one has spring, it's got winter. It's actually got designs for all four seasons, summer, fall, so this one sold for two i'm less than a dime in so it's actually about a dollar fifty profit but again all this is really easy to list and ship and all of these smaller sales definitely add up there were only a few sales over a hundred dollars so the majority of that fourteen hundred dollars is these smaller bread and butter sales adding up and almost all of them are very very easy to ship and then we have another license plate this Florida license plate sold for $10.49 and under a month, so it's about an $8 profit. These international silvers took over a year. They are really cool little ornament trays. I thought they would sell faster. I really did. I only paid a couple dollars. They only sold for $10. So they're about a $7 profit. They, they're kind of big and bulky, so I'm glad they're gone because making more room. I can put more of my Longa Burger baskets up. Up next is a skirt this is a really cute skirt with the sailboats on it this one is talbot's brand and this one sold for 15 i only paid a dollar so it's about a 12 dollar profit i have done pretty well with talbot's brand especially stuff that's like ocean or nautical themed so this one's about a 12 dollar profit it did take about eight months to sell next is another longa burger basket so this one is a flag basket it is 25th anniversary just has the protector no liner this one i paid about 10 it sold for 31.49 so it's about a 15 to 17 dollar profit and it sold in a couple of days next going out to michelle she saw these on my video these were the little hummel ornaments she did get two packs of them for 28 so they're about a 20 dollars profit for me i do still have two packs left they're really cute with the little hummels in there so michelle thank you so much for your purchase i greatly appreciate it and then this is a pretty good license plate sale it is a pair of them these are ohio 1956 the pair sold for 50 dollars I am only $2 in, so they're about a $40 profit, and they sold in under two months. This is a cool little hair clip. I paid $5 for it at Renninger's Antique Fair. It sold for $15, so it's about an $8 profit, but I had never seen anything like this. This one actually has that it was made in Cuba. Not sure if you can see it there. And that's not a mark that you see very often. I was hoping it would be a little more, but I'm still happy with it. Did take about eight months to sell. And then this little Belit creamer. I love the little breakables are super easy to pack and ship, and they actually ship for under a pound rate. This one is clearly marked. I only paid a couple dollars. It sold for $13.98 and under two months, and it's about a $10 profit. And then a little Tupperware bowl. You pick these up for a quarter, 50 cents at yard sales all the time. They are clearly marked. And this one I paid a quarter. It sold for $10.48, so it's about an $8 profit. Next is another Longa Burger basket. If you haven't noticed, these red, white, and blue, the patriotic ones do very well. This one is a B basket. This does have the liner. I actually had to wash it. I didn't realize it was so dirty, so it's in the washer. This one sold for $27.99. I paid eight, so it's gonna be about a $15 profit. 
up next is this little copper oil lamp you can see there it does have the wick this one I paid less than a dollar and a lot it sold for $18.89 and under a month and it's about a $14 profit the last of the license plates going out this is an Ontario one this one sold for 12 and this one's going to be about a nine dollar profit and then last on eBay is this toy soldier this is made in Germany. It's really, really nice. It actually has the original box. This one sold for $12.58. I paid a dollar. So he's about a $10 profit. He sold in two months. Up next are the Poshmark sales. We also had one Etsy sale. I think I left the Etsy sale in the shed, so I'll pop a picture up of that. But we do use List Perfectly to cross post. As I said earlier, we have not been able to cross post for a week and a half now from being sick and not wanting my mom to come over. So we're still getting sales though, still getting sales. So over on Poshmark, I sold this really nice pillowcase. These are by So Susie Designs. She is on Etsy. So I do not list these on Etsy just out of respect to her. This one sold for $26 on Poshmark. I paid $1.59, so it's about a $14 profit. And then these pants, I got from the bins. I got them from the bins. They are like a maroon corduroy, another pair of Talbots. These sold for $19. I am less than a dollar in, so they're about a $13 to $14 profit over on Poshmark. And then we also sold two boxes of Octavia for $54. I actually have to get them out of my pantry. I had emptied most, but I still have a little bit more in there. And then we sold this amazing, amazing sun catcher over on Etsy for $46 really really cool definitely a great sale on Etsy we haven't been selling that much on Etsy so I'm kind of on the fence about whether I want to continue if you're thinking about cross posting I would say Mercari Facebook Marketplace and Poshmark would be my top three even though I can't list on Facebook Marketplace anymore because I am banned so I appreciate you guys watching thanks for listening to my really really hoarse voice I will see you guys tomorrow on a live show at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are live every Tuesday at 8. We are going to have Leroy from Blood, Sweat, and Sell, as well as Brandy, my reseller treasure. I actually have to message them right after I record this just to confirm with them. So we have so much fun answering your questions every Tuesday at 8. If you guys missed my first Halloween video, because I put it out at like 11.30 at night, I was having YouTube issues. If you missed that, go check it out. There are going to be two more Halloween videos coming up this week on Wednesday and Friday. Now is the time to list Halloween. I don't have a ton of Halloween. If you have it, list it. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, thanks for all your well wishes. I'm going to stop talking and rest my voice now. I will see you tomorrow.